As we head to the end of the show, we find the excitement grows. And the audience anticipates the culmination, the highlight of the show. Whatever we play, however beautifully we sing, we approach the moment that will baffle. Yes, you know what we're talking about. Gwen and Doris have been folding tickets all second half. They're going to hold the raffle. There are prizes, mostly unwanted, that did appear last time. Though I think the Jehovah and Jasmine's bath salts have been prizes since 1989. Good to see the solar frog with lighting up eyes is back again. Along with the slightly out of date Goulian chocolates and cheap and dodgy wine. First on the pale pink ticket, I think that's pink, it's number 315. Mabel, well, well done. done again. Come and collect your prize. This one is a sort of buff colour. It's number 26. Phyllis, that's you. Go on. Please come and take your pick. Now we've drawn a green ticket. It's number 511. 511. 511. 511. Anyone got 511? I think they must have gone. 511. That's you, Cyril. The green one. Now go and get your prize. Cyril gets up slowly, shuffles to the front, and chooses mincy pies. This goes on for 15 minutes. Mabel wins another, and insists we draw again. Just as well, because this hasn't taken long enough yet, and it's not like there aren't enough prizes to win. I think I still see ten. Eventually, as happens every week, the hankies sit alone. The ones with a wine and some roses embroidered on the corner and on which noses will never be blown. Prizes be to the fathers, and to the sons, and to the girly host. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, raffles without end. Oh, 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 oh,